you know, what, I don't want to assume what people know and what they don't know. Cause sometimes we start doing the past tense and stuff and we have new people coming into the group. So I want to do some of the easier stuff too. So that it's just not all, you know, they come in and just all of a sudden start off with the past. So. I appreciate you know, that. We appreciate that. Assume what people know and what they don't know. Lo que la gente sabe y lo que no sabe. Perfecto. So. Muy bien. Muy bien. Okay. So what we do, everybody, um, we're just going to, uh, whoever wants to contribute, uh, you free to participate or not. It's up to you. There's no pressure. Uh, we're just trying to basically translate from uh, if, if Bryce wrote it in Spanish, we want to translate it to English. Uh, if he wrote it in English, then we want to translate that to Spanish. But then we also want to think about um, examples like that would go beyond this. Like you say, oh, adonde vas, right? Where are you going? Um, voy a visitar a mi prima, voy a visitar, what else? Where are the other places that you can go? Make up a few other sentences. Right, um, and sure. use that to expand your abilities, your vocabulary. Uh, let's see, we still have people coming into the room. James, how do you put raise your hand? Uh, down at the bottom, Carol, there's, um, uh, you have, well, you might. It depends on how wide your screen is. Um, I'm not actually seeing it on mine either right now. Steve, or do we have the? Uh... It's called the reactions and raise hand. Yeah, reactions, raise hand. But see, I'm on. I have my share screen window, so I'm not seeing reactions myself. But Carol, oh. look for reactions at the bottom. Oh, I see. And there's and a there's bottom, like emojis. The bottom bar is like raise hand. Mm, oh yeah. Okay. The others are emojis. Oh, got got it. Thank you very much. Cool. Okay. <clears throat> Good. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so, who wants to begin? Learned vas. Where are we going? That's right. Well, what is that? Say that again. Adonde vas means where are you going? Where are you going? Right. I thought I heard you say where are we going. So that's. that's uh, where are we right. going? Right. Where are you going? Right. Avoid mi casa or where are we going? Where are we going? Where are you going? Right. Boss is you, right? Boss is you. Uh, the, the, the two form. Yeah. Okay. Am I right to think that adonde should be written together like one word? No, depends. <laughs> depends. Okay, depends. Like on what? How would I know? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, um, Okay, so for example, uh, you will see adonde together, but adonde has a uh, um, um, uh, any mark mm -hmm. in the donde, mm -hmm. but if you say adonde, this a uh, separated uh, doesn't Where have. You? So you you use adonde together when it's next to a verb and implies movement or destination okay okay so that's up there uh don't they uh when they uh when it's separate um you will use it when it's a question or when it's an exclamation got it oh. good thank you anna you're welcome so um lorraine Yes. Where are you going? Um, voy al cine. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so this one, B, voy a visitar a mi prima. What does that mean? I'm going to my cousin's house. I'm going to my cousin's. I'm going to visit going my to cousin. Visit my cousin. I'm going to visit my cousin. Right. My cousin. <laughs> okay. So para los hispanos, cousin. Es hombre o mujer. No tenemos primos y primas. Es todos son cousins, right? Okay. And, or uh, you said voy al cine. 
Well, I've seen it, right? Right. Which is? Going to the movies. What's uh, the difference between cine and película? Well, a película is a movie, and cine is a building where they show movies. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to say in English, we would say, I'm going to the movies, right? Plural. Everybody agree with that? Mm -hmm. yep. yeah. Cool. Okay, so then what's the difference between voy a visitar a mi prima o a visitar a mi prima? I just, I just wanted to say the reason. What, go ahead. Someone else was going. To, someone else. A visitar a mi prima is like the answer to where are you going? Just, to visit my to, cousin. To, to visit my cousin. Yeah. Same thing we do in English, right, Bryce? Yeah. It's like yes. if I ask you where are you going, yeah. you can answer I'm going to visit my cousin, or you can say to visit my to visit cousin. cousin. We do the same thing, right? Uh, what were you going to say, Bryce, about the reason? No, that that's that's that you said exactly what I was going to say, pretty much. A visitar a mi friend. to visit okay. my cousin, maybe to visit my cousin. Yeah, it's like, right. oh, where are you going? To my cousin, to visit my cousin. To ah right. uh, means to to visit my cousin. This one in the front means to. To yeah. Okay, to visit. Somebody explain what that other ah uh, means. Why is the other ah uh, in there? It means noun is to follow. <clears throat> now that's yeah. a person. Yes. It's, 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 it's uh, the se to it's separate the, the verb. It's the personal ah. Uh. Yeah, what we call the personal ah. Whoever uh. said that? Was that Nancy? Nancy. The yes. personal ah. Uh. Yeah. So one of the reasons. Go ahead. Bryce, can you? Yeah, I was just going to say one of the reasons why I did that. There's a couple of other ones with the personal I in here. Um, and reason one of the reasons why I decided to do some of these examples is because Nancy said something about it uh, in in a WhatsApp. So I thought, OK, that, that would be a good idea. You know, Nancy, well, she she suggested, you know, talking about this in the lesson, too. So. So can you give us kind of a, a broad um advice about when to use personal ah uh, and when not well, to when do we need it well with, with a person like for example um like that's why i put like the to visit my cousin a cousin is a person so i'm prima but and you see in the other example um where i'm um you know it you know, like if I said I'm going to visit the museum, you know, I wouldn't say voy a visitar al museo because that would be incorrect. You know, I could say voy a visitar el museo, but not al museo because the m museum is a, it's like an object. It's not a, a person. But okay, so let's write that. Um, okay. Uh, let's come up to this part up here, right? <clears throat> Okay. So like that, Bryce? Yes, yes. So the museum is not a person. Simplistically, simplistically, right? Yes. So it doesn't have a el museo, like a mi prima. When you're visiting a person, you get that personal a in there. Let's leave it as simple as that without too many rules, but more by example, right? Use the ah when you're going to visit a person. Don't use the ah when you're going to visit a place or something else. Okay. Um, so why is it boy al museo? Because that's... Um... Because that's the... Because that is... That's a great question, okay? Um, you could you could think of al as a contraction of al, right? 
Yeah, but that's the easy part. Why is the ah uh, needed at all? Because it's that's not two. Boy, ah. Yes. It's I'm the preposition. Going to. It's not the personal ah, it's a preposition. Yes, it's different than after uh after an infinitive carol. Because hmm. you know, anytime you go somewhere, you know, you 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 know, boy, you know, where where I let the end, you know, where I'm carro, you know, where that's you have to have that A in there when using that particular construction, but it's different but when there's an after the the personal ah uh, is only used after an infinitive. Oh. Is that what you said? Well, in this case, it is like where visitar. You can't you can't you have to use the personal ah. Uh, but when you're saying going to the museum, if you say boy boy el museo, that would be incorrect. Boy, ah, el museo. Because you have to, but structure ah, yeah, ah, ah, becomes... Okay. Okay, that's fine. All you right. need to remember that A has different uses. In Spanish, it's not personal. And I have seen, like, uh, people uh, think that A is used only as a personal A. Okay, but the A as a personal A is used only when... Uh, the direct object is a person or a animal. Okay, for example, ves a alguien detrás del árbol? Do you see someone behind that tree? No veo a nadie. Veo a mi hija. Veo a mis padres. So see the direct object, the person. Veo a mi gato, pet in this case. So you use the personal A. So also we have to remember that in these sentences, we're not going only in one direction, English to Spanish. We do Spanish to English. So that's why in a lot of cases too, the uses of two, like it can be a visitar a, but it can be al, al museo, a mi mamá. So we have to open our minds and do the exercise that is not always from that it's like, it needs to be A if I use two, because you need to think also in both languages, what's what's the right way to say it in English, what's the right way to say it in Spanish. And a lot of time that it's not always 100% the same thing. So we need to just accept those things. And just look at as many examples as you can and just accept the examples as much as you can. Okay. Um, Asalia, Raquel, um, William, preguntas sobre a ah, cuando porque nosotros no usamos a personal. Not in English, no. No, no hay. Okay. Al museo. That's the short answer. And if we expand that out to English, literally, what does that mean? To the museum. That's just, that's all it is, right? To the museum. I would actually, and I think I would um, bold al as being to the. You agree? Uh, pardon, repeat that, please. Al is kind of short, is short for al, so I would include both of those words bold. Al is to the. Okay. okay. Yes, thank you. You're not going to fight with me on that one? Okay. <laughs> no, in this one. <laughs> something, and, some, and something I meant, meant to put also was if it's a feminine uh, word like the story, the story, way a la. La tienda. A, a la tienda, right. That'd be good. Okay. Uh, I thought I saw Danielle's hand raised, but now it's, yeah, go ahead. Danielle, what's the question? Unmute. Oh, I just want to, <clears throat> excuse me. Hello, everyone. I just wanted to try number two, if it's possible. Of course. Wait, but when you're ready, <laughs> I don't want to rush. <laughs> We're ready? We're ready. Danielle, go for it. Okay. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Yo quiero hablar con él. Perfecto. Mm. Yeah. Uh, quiero, uh, quiero hablar con él. Quiero mm -hmm. hablar con él. 
quiero mm -hmm. hablar con él o yo quiero ya yeah. que, que quiero hablar con él que you know, it's implied with the o right? right the yo is optional yes it is yo is out of it's, optional it's certainly not wrong it just emphasizes okay. yeah exactly good job yo gracias <laughs> yo quiero hablar con él i want to talk to him right what about B, Danielle? No. What oh. about to B? Oh, I could do that. No. Yo no huh? quiero hablar con, con nadie. Awesome. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> okay. So in Spanish, double negatives are correct. Okay. In Spanish, you need the double negative. Anna, explain to the Spanish speakers that in English we don't ever do that. Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> Por favor, okay. compartir. Ayúdame a compartir en español que nosotros no usamos. Yes. Uh, in Spanish? Sí, en español. Sí. Ah, okay. Correcto. Um, yes, en inglés, desafortunadamente, no usan la eh, doble negación como lo usamos en el español. En este caso, yo no quiero hablar con nadie. No es la negación. Nadie es negativo también. Um, so, entonces, tenemos que, eh, por ejemplo, un ejemplo sencillo sería, no tengo ninguna duda, que okay, ninguna es negativo también. Entonces, lo podemos decir de dos maneras. I don't have any doubt. Ok, pero any es algo, alguna, ok, no es ninguna. O podemos decir, I have no ideas. Al principio es afirmativo y luego es negativo. Entonces, suena raro, pero eh, para mí el truco para aprenderlo fue cada vez que uso uh, don't, voy a usar any, ok, anybody, anything, lo que sea. Entonces, así, easy voy de la otra manera, voy afirmativo, I have, y luego voy con no. I have no idea, I have no desire, I have no arguments, etc. Entonces, Muy para bien. entenderlo rápido, usamos, si usamos don, vamos a usar después anybody, anything, ah. etc. Y si vamos en esa forma, primero va afirmativo o positivo, y luego, no. I have no idea. I have no desire. etc. Thank you. Y ese es un error común. <laughs> Muy común. Okay. So for us, for the English speakers, right, we have to get used to the idea that double negatives are not only okay, but required. Right? Um, and so when you say, I, I don't talk to anybody, Literally, we have to say, I don't talk to nobody. Okay. Now, we use that, but we know that that's not correct in English. Okay. Sometime when you were growing up, some teachers said, don't use double negatives. But in yeah, Spanish, right. it's okay. In Spanish, it's okay. Muy bien. Okay. Entonces. <clears throat> so, how do we say this? He doesn't want to study somebody else eh, el, oh, el no quiere estudiar. simple as that right okay you don't put an i in front of the studio el no nope. quiere I. okay nope don't need it in this case yeah to study is the infinitive ah uh, that's right it's in is this one to study yeah Yep, yep. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. Bryce? I wanted to say the reason why I put these two examples also is, um, you know, in, in English, um, we say don't and doesn't. But in Spanish, it's no and no but. Uh, but, you know, for the, and the reason why one of my friends, my, I think I mentioned him before, my friend from Venezuela, you know, he asked me one time, una pregunta para ti, ¿cómo se usa la palabra doesn't in una oración? Um, so, you know, for I don't, we don't, and they don't. Um, and then she doesn't, he doesn't, or it doesn't. So Let's go ahead and write that 
Anna, let's write that. Um, <clears throat> uh, so we're going to say, I, I don't, we don't, they don't. Um, you don't, right? Yes, you don't. Yes. Okay. And we're going to say he doesn't. She doesn't. Yes. All right. I, we, they, you don't. And don't is do not. And doesn't is does not. Okay, it's kind of basic for some of you here. Some of you here are, are quite advanced and maybe this is a whole bunch of um, uh, basic level, but practice anyway, or see if you can say everything in Spanish in your head. Okay. Cool, cool. All right, numero tres, quien quiere? Carol Joyce, raise your hand. Um. Number three. Whoops. Ah, wait a second. Turn. Keep on getting these notifications that I don't know. ¿Qué te gusta hacer en tu tiempo libre? Uh, what do you like to do in your free time? Pretty easy, right? Yeah. Okay. Anything interesting in that sentence, Carol? Oh, gosh, I don't know. Um, <laughs> uh, well, it's just the same construction with uh, Gustar that it. Um, I don't think there was anything. I don't okay. know. Bryce, what should I notice that I didn't notice? Bryce, what's, what's the lesson in this sentence? What do you want to show people in this sentence? Well, in this one, I just I put this one because it's a it's something very common to say. You know, it's yeah. something, it's very, it's, you know, me gusta, is, you know, is used, you know, the gustar, the verb is used a lot. So it's something that's uh, very commonly said. Um, and also just so people know, you know, if you want to say, what does he like to do in his free time? You know, if you wanted to. I was going to ask you that. Okay. So let's say that I'm talking, I'm, I'm asking about your, your daughter or your son, right? ¿Qué te le gusta hacer en tu tiempo libre? So, say that again, whoever that was. ¿Qué, te, um, qué, le, gust, qué le gusta hacer en, tu, en su tiempo libre? ¿Qué le gusta hacer en su tiempo libre? Yeah. And whether it's he or she is undetermined. Right? Because it's the same. <clears throat> okay. What about um, if you're talking to an old man like me in the formal sense and it's not the two form, how do you do the usted form? Usted. I think the same way. It'll be the same. Yeah, it is. It's the same. Isn't it right? So really, this should be. Does that make sense? <laughs> Why is that not take gusta instead of le gusta? Is te is part of the familiar to form. You only say that to friends and people who are younger than you and close associates, people that you're very familiar with. And people who are not Colombian. <laughs> people who are not Colombian. ¿Hay algunos colombianos aquí hoy? No, no, creo que no. No hay. 
Okay. I will scroll down. All right. Me gusta. What is that word? Scuba dive. Bucear. To dive. To dive. To dive. Or snorkeling. Is this snorkeling? I thought it was. Someone, someone oh. read that. Okay, I like. To dive and read books. To dive and to read books. Um, okay, I'm gonna dive in but I don't know I'll miss my tempo. Tempo. Uh, everybody okay with that construction? I like to dive and read books or okay. scuba dive. Is it specifically scuba dive? I thought it was, but yes. I could be wrong. I it's scuba it dive. But just so we're clear on that, everyone that the pronunci pronunciation is bucear. Yeah. Bucear. Yeah. Bucear. bucear. Chet, you have your hand raised. Is it a question? No, she forgot to lower it. <laughs> okay. No. All right. <clears throat> so somebody sing out. What else do you like to do? ¿Qué, qué más te gusta? Benetta, Levy, Julie Malone, turn on your mm -hmm. numbe. Turn on your cameras so we can see you. Ramon. No, send a message before I said it wasn't working. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Some, some did, yes. Veneta, bienvenida. Okay. Preguntas? Okay. All right. Bryce, what's Aramon? Okay, so here's this ah again. Of course. Hmm. It is again. Ramon. So in English, it's really easy in English, right? It's mm -hmm. muy fácil. In English, it's muy fácil. Ramon likes to swim. Right? With that, because you know, if you use a, a person's name specifically, you have to use the ah before. Now, of course, if you're just saying he likes to or she likes to, you know, as we talked about up there, it's le gusta nadar. Now, you could say a él le gusta nadar if you want to specify, uh, or a ella le gusta nadar. But if you use a name, you have to do the ah before the name. and like that. It know. really helps if you remember that gustar does not actually mean like. Right. It means pleases. More closely mm. means pleases. Maybe not exactly, but if you think of it in that context, okay? So, to Ramon, swimming is pleasing. Okay. That sounds weird. <laughs> It does sound weird, but if, you, but if you think about the construction, okay, um, I, I'm going to put this in some sort of brackets or something, but Do people say that? To Ramon swimming is pleasing? <laughs> only in very specific. Very rarely. <laughs> it, it's, not, it's not wrong. And it's not a wrong sentence. But it's, I have never <laughs> read or listened that construction. Yeah. For, for him. Only you. Neither <laughs> have I, yeah. I ever Don't read it or said it. <laughs> Most people hate snow. But to Ramon, snow is pleasing. No, I'm not saying if it's that that is incorrect. I'm saying if people say that, but no, that's there was no. Never. Okay, it, it's not okay. wrong, but almost never. Okay, <laughs> Ramon likes snow. Yeah, um, I have a question. Sure. 
jump in. Okay. Um, um, now I've always thought that like R ah, L on ah, me, uh, you know, when you do R, ah, um, and then like L or A ya ah, before like gusta, it's um, it's optional, correct? No, not no. usually. So they were talking about this earlier. Maybe just before you came on was the personal ah. And so mm -hmm. there's instances where we need the ah uh, because the direct object is a person or maybe a pet, uh, right? right? But then if the direct object, the, the thing that is being pleased, all right, if the direct object is not a person or an animal, oh. then we don't need the ah. Uh. It's much easier to learn by example, like, oh, this is when I use the ah, and in this case, I don't use the ah, like if it's a hotel. Is that, how I, I, does that make I, any I, sense, I, Julie? It's, it's a, I, just, I think it's a little confusing because I think, um, I always thought that you would use I, I, L, I mean, you're like, you're saying like, who's the, so isn't the, like the L or the I, L implied already or? Okay, well, let me, I, I want to, answer that um, um okay if you say like for example uh he likes to to swim a él le gustan le gusta nadar now you don't have to say the a él you right. you can it's in that case it's optional you can say a él or a ella or you can just leave leave those off and just say le gusta nadar but if you use a name, you have to use the ah and then before the name. So maybe I did not understand the question and I apologize, Julie. Um, if you use the L, you need the ah. If you use a Ramon, you can eliminate the ah yes. and the Ramon, but you can't leave the Ramon there without the ah. Yeah, if it's a name, yeah, exactly. If it's a name, it has to have the ah uh, before it. No, if it's really just he or she, but if it's just he or she, you don't have to say a ah, él or a ah, ella. You mm -hmm. can just say le gusta, le gusta nadar, le gusta cocinar, or whatever, whatever it is. Asalia, what are you going to say? Billy, I think it's a little bit like if you're just going to give it a more emphasis, like if somebody says... Me gusta nadar. I like to swim. A ti or or y tú, and then you would say a mí me gusta because you're saying more strongly. I like. It just gives it more emphasis. Yes, but like Not if you're in a group. Yes, yeah. or if you're like in a group and you want to, you're specifying someone specifically. You know, pointing to him. A él le gusta. You know, whatever it is he likes to do. Hmm. Asadia, what were you going to share? What Rose Rose said. Uh, a él is like we're talking in third person, right? So if I'm with my friend and another friend with me right now, so I can say he likes to swim. A él, like here, a él. Like to gusta nadar. And if you use a, a Ramón, Ramon can be with, here with me, or it could it could be like somewhere in the somewhere store, else. someone else. Yes. Okay, yeah. okay. I think we. <clears throat> thank you. <clears throat> Good job. <clears throat> All right. Uh, for the Spanish speakers, remember that it's I like, we like, they like, but he or she likes, with an S. And an also, S. you you like goes in there too. Uh, I missed that. Yep. I like, we like, you like. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. How old is her daughter? Chet and one hey. other. Ken. Ken, and Ken is going to participate first. Yes. Quanto, um, quanto años uh, es chica tiene? Okay. You got all the right, all you got, got all the literal things, but let's go through piece by piece. Okay. All right. Antonio's Dennis Suija, I think. 
Antonio's tennis. Let's, let me let, let me get through this with Ken here, okay? So, first of all, good job because it's not. Yes, it's TNA, right? It's TNA. Yes. So, if we were in English, it's how many years does your daughter have? So, Ken, how do we say how many years? does your daughter have? I mean, we would generally say like she's, she is 15 years old or she is, she has, if you want to say like she has, like we don't generally say she has, we would say like she's 10 years old or she's 12 years old. In English, but we don't say that in Spanish. Okay, so in English we say she is, Right, just like Bryce has below that, her daughter is nine years old. In fact, we don't we don't need this. I didn't read down far enough. But first, the question: How old is her daughter? <clears throat> All right, Paul, go ahead and chip in there. All right, let me tell. You. I said it was cuánto años tiene su hija. Cuántos años tiene su hija? Cuánto años. Tiene su hija. Okay, be careful with that first S, right? Cuantos años. All right. Años. Now, if you're from Cuba or the DR or several other places, you might not say the S. Cuanto años. Right. But you still have to write the S. Okay. Is that is that correct? Anna, am I correct? You have to write the S, right? Even if you don't pronounce it. But you have to pronounce it. <laughs> it doesn't uh, matter <laughs> where you come from, okay? Uh, the S at the end and the R, no, you, they Los should. Los cubanos no dice S. That doesn't mean that's that doesn't just mean the that dialect. Right. But, exactly, that doesn't mean that it's right. And we are learning in language. We need to do it right. We need to okay. learn it right. So, Paul, say this sentence again, this whole, this simple whole sentence. Cuánto años tiene su hija? I want to hear but you would... say, I want to hear you say cuántos años. Cuánto años tiene su hija? <laughs> cuántos. <laughs> You're saying cuánto. <laughs> cuánto. Cuánto años tiene su usted? Cuánto años tiene su Cuántos. No puede escuchar. Entiendo. ¿De dónde eres, Paul? ¿Su familia? ¿De dónde eres? ¿De dónde es su familia? Es from Mexico and uh, Chihuahua, Los Ángeles. Okay. So, Interesante. That's the way I've always heard it. Like, ¿cuánto años tienes usted? Like. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, something that happened is like, um, when we, if we speak fast, uh, normally the the last S, we always, 100% of the time, we pronounce it. It's just like sometimes if we are saying something fast, that S is very soft. soft. So yeah. you might not really notice it, but we pronounce it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cuantos. Cuantos. Good job. There you go. Okay. okay so back to Ken. Ken. Back. Let me come back to Ken. Okay. So Ken. Uh, let me write something else. Okay. Okay. And also, sometimes you hear que ira, 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 tiene. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Ken, mm -hmm. this sentence literally means how many years, cuantos años, has your daughter? Okay. It's not good English, but if it was literally written like that, how many years has your daughter? Okay. okay. So this, is, this is an example of in Spanish, people have a certain number of years, right? That's how many years they have, as opposed to the age, how old are you? Does that... Does that, con, you know, that visual make sense? We have a certain, like how many, 
birthdays have you had? Right. I have had a lot of birthdays. Okay. All right. I hope that helps. Yes. So then how old are you? How old are you? So say that, it, Ken. Okay. How? Quantos, um, quantos um, años tienes, right? Yay! 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 Good job. You can say, can say that. Uh, say <laughs> años again. Actually, say años. 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 Thanks, Bryce. Okay, thank you, Bryce. Años. Okay. All right. Yeah. Raquel? Chip in here. We need to hear from you. Raquel and William. Hey, B? Sure. Her daughter is nine years old. Okay, nine years. Nine years. Year <laughs> old. <clears throat> right. Su hija tiene nueve años. Sí, exacto. Sí, es fácil. Pero para pronunciar, her daughter. Yes, it's true. Her <laughs> daughter is. Her daughter is nine years old. Nine years old. Daughter. 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 Her Good. daughter. Yeah. Her daughter is nine years old. Great. Su hija tiene nueve años. Muy bien. Okay. Um, what else can we say there? William. Um, you have you have children, William, right? No, I don't have any oh. children. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to think of a question, right? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, <clears throat> how do you, how do you say, William? How do you say like, um, <clears throat> like hmm. the book is twenty years old? I sorry, I did that in English. I was to say, el libro tiene 20 años. El libro tiene 29 años. I did not do that well. I'm sorry. Anna, what were you we talking about? We don't know what language we're, we're speaking. A veces no sabemos cuál idioma. Yeah, yeah it okay. says, it's cool sometimes. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, also. Thank you for making us laugh. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Okay, I didn't do that very well. Number five. Are you looking for a Carlos? I'm looking for a Carlos. Okay. Look at look at Carlos. Oh, okay. well, look at Carlos. Mm -hmm. Looking for Carlos. I'm looking for Carlos. Who's going to be speaking? For? This is great. Which is it? Which is it? I'm looking for Carlos or I'm looking at Carlos, or I'm, I need I'm a seeking. Carlos. I'm looking I'm for. Thinking. <laughs> but for Carlos. I'm looking for. for. Yes. No, I'm looking for, I look Carlos. I'm seeking, this is the other way. Okay. All right, looking for, Busco. To look for. Uh, so I'm staying there. Ah, Carlos. No, I'm looking for Carlos. It's not Spanish. Right. We cannot just oh, say sorry. Busco, Busco, Busco myself. Carlos. Busco mm -hmm. Carlos. Nope. I'm Busco looking for Carlos. Carlos. I'm looking for Carlos. What are you looking for? Estoy buscando. So Busco is I'm looking for? Well, kind of. Yes. It's not the gerund. The gerund is looking for. Busco is really more like I look for Carlos, but we don't say that in English. Okay, okay. so I'm looking for Carlos is más que, it's more like estoy buscando a Carlos. Is that That's correct too. That's what am I doing? Estoy buscando. And it would be literally I'm looking, right? But 
if somebody says, what are you doing? You're not going to say, I look for Carlos. Maybe, what do you do in your free time? I look for Carlos. Probably not. Probably not. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I'm looking for probably the only way we would say that. Okay. But this is Busco a Carlos is uh, um, Spanish. Uh, it's necessary to uh, try to contest, but Busco is yeah. present continuous. Yeah. No? Yes. Yeah. I, 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 mean, look, I look for. I look for. Okay. Um, it's all ready, so you can come down when I'm leaving. I have a question. Um, now, if you're using Buscar um, and you're talking about someone, or if I'm saying, like, for example, if I say, um, I'm looking for my cousins at the park, say would that. it still be buscar, buscar a mis primos? Or... Say the example again, please, Julie. I'm looking for my cousins in the park or at the park. Looking for my cousins? Yes. Okay, I'm looking for my cousins at the park. Isn't that uh, mis primos? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, and and I am, yeah. I am looking for estoy buscando. Estoy buscando. Mm -hmm. That is absolutely correct. Yep. So. Buscar a is usually when there is, when you're talking about people. Yes. Mm -hmm. The yeah. a part is people. Um, mm -hmm. I had a question. If you were to say, I'm looking at Carla, Carlos, would you say middle? Mirar. 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 Oh. Say that, Doug. Mirar. Use mir mirar. Mirar. Instead of buscar, it's <laughs> Would you say Miro a Carlos? Miro. Miro. Right, that's right. Miro a Carlos. Miro a Carlos. The key is in the conjugation on the verb. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> the key is in the conjugation of the verb. Um. I actually have another question, like number five, A. Can you scroll mm -hmm. down a little bit? Um, yeah. I don't understand that one. I, I don't know if you're supposed, are you supposed to use Mira for that? Or no. um, I'm, like I'm looking at Carlos or because okay. isn't um, oh. Estoy Bando like the correct, um, I look at Carlos <laughs> or I look, you said I look for Carlos. Oh, okay. But looking for is Buscar. Right, right. I, I, I actually, I, I know that, but I, I just, I guess, because it says busca, uh, busco, and it's like, well, how do you, do you translate it where it busca, makes sense? Think of, think of buscar as more like searching. You know, you're, okay. you're looking for an answer. You're looking for something. You're searching for something, right? As opposed right. to looking at something, looking for something, something is a different context context right I, I, buscars to me in my head is more like searching for something right okay um thing i i don't know i'm just I, I just seem like i'm i feel like i'm a little confused because if you're saying something like um i look um i don't know i look at the book or something or i look for the book i don't really talk like that but um, I look for the piece of paper or something like that. I just, I feel like if you're saying- buscar. I'm looking... I look I look for the piece of paper would be buscar. Buscar, I... yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I, I, I don't know. I guess I, I would, it would make more sense for me to say I'm looking for the piece of paper In instead English. of- Yes. Right, and I, I guess because you're saying I, I, I look for Carlos or I'm looking for Carlos, I would always think that you would say estoy buscando. I guess I'm just a little confused on the sentence. That's all. It, it's just you just so, have to like let just just uh, in in the first person. It can be like comer. Como can be I eat or I am eating. Keep going. 
Nancy. Uh, correct. Yeah. Wait, in in the so, moment, yes. Yeah. So busco can mean I look or I am looking. Oh yes. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. You can so you can say in the moment, you can really say either. Good, good point, right. Nancy. You can say estoy, estoy buscando or busco. You oh, can, I didn't know that. Yes. Hmm. I lost my I lost one of my windows here. Hold on. There we go. Okay. That was a good discussion. Mm -hmm. If you want to, you can go back tomorrow and look at the look at where what are we were at about oh I didn't know that. We're about an hour into the call. So <laughs> towards the end of the recording tomorrow. Uh, maybe watch this section again okay. and uh, look at the examples again and listen to it again. Right. All right. Um, I want to shout out to Scott because we haven't heard from you. Uh, Scott, how are you doing there? Soderberg? Hey there. Todo bien? Todo bien? I like, yeah, I like your class. There, there's some things, uh, some new things that I haven't seen. Okay. It's, good. it's good. interactive. English and Spanish papers. <laughs> All right. Um, any questions? Just want to say. I do have a. Good. I do have a question. Yeah. And you're talking about the ah uh, or al, and I've always wondered this, and I never had a good answer for it. Uh, for example, uh, quiero jugar al tennis or quiero jugar al baseball, and why is it al? Oh, tennis. It's just the way it is. <laughs> Nancy, thank you. <laughs> okay, somebody tell us. Um, I, th I think it's not that. <laughs> um, I think that depends of the country, because at least in my country, we never ever <laughs> say Voy a jugar al tenis, al fútbol, al baloncesto. We only say, voy a jugar tenis, voy a jugar baloncesto, voy a jugar fútbol. Easy. And I guess that al comes from a few countries. So, I'm sure that in Spain people say that, but maybe you have heard that in a, people from another country. And can it's it's mine. Okay? I don't have anything against Spain. I no, 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 it's okay. I always use you. space because I know how they talk. Okay, I I know very well the way they talk. Uh, so I'm very familiar. But uh, but I think in Spain and maybe another countries or country they use "al." I'm not sure in Mexico. I, I want to uh, give it a shot. Okay. Um, so Scott, wherever you are, where do you where do you live? Connecticut. Okay, in Connecticut, are you more likely to say I turn on 42nd Street or I turn on to 42nd Street? No, it's both. It could be either. Okay. A, I ask that question to a lot of people and it kind of depends on where they are. Mm -hmm. Okay. But neither one is wrong, right? Right. Okay. That's my answer to your question. Mm -hmm. It's not wrong. Some places you will hear it all the time. And if you're talking to somebody, we give Colombians a lot of flack here, but <laughs> it's, don't take it personally for Colombians. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because Colombians are very precise about, no, oh, you have to say it this way and there's no other way to say it, right? Mm -hmm. So the point is- That's not precise, that is intolerance. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so- um uh so scott the answer is um if you're reading a book or you're learning and somebody says you have to say me gusta jugar al tenis just accept it and move on for them you say al tenis but if you're talking to somebody from nicaragua me gusta jugar tenis it's totally fine no importa no importa <laughs> no importa you get a ticket Bryce, what are you what are you doing in there? Uh, yeah, I, I just wanted to mention something since you know we're just about done because um, there may be some questions uh, on number ten. Um, I, let me see. 
Well, number 10 puts, let's, yeah, let's go to number 10 real quick. Cause some people, yeah. I, I can, I can see someone asking a question about that later. Like I'm going to the beach uh, to relax tomorrow. You know, I'm going, voy a la playa a relajarme mañana. Um, and then you have the next example. Tonight I'm staying home to relax. This is great. <laughs> well, yeah. Yes. When, when, Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Voy a la playa. Me mañana. Okay. Oh. 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 Yeah. okay. Voy a la playa. Esta, and then the next one. Esta noche me quedo en casa para relajarme. This is great. And the reason I wanted to mention this one because I can understand, I can see someone probably asking a question like, "Why do you have to use para in one, and the other one you don't?" Because it's there's the way they said both of them. I'm going to the beach to relax. And I'm staying home to relax. So when you're using boy, uh, this it's just you don't have to use you don't you don't say boy a la boy a la playa para. Um, now you may hear people say that, but uh, but it's when you're going like tonight, you're staying home for a specific purpose. But it's me quedo en casa para relajarme. It, but just remember that when you're using boy <laughs> in this instance, it's a ah, not para. So you can at least eliminate you can at least eliminate the para for for those. But that's the reason why I did those two just to show. The difference in saying kind of the same thing. Yeah. That might so, not be a great example. I mean, great Raquel, but... I have a question. Mm -hmm. Raquel, do you, um, Raquel, ¿qué decís vos? Um, Esta noche me quedo en casa a relajarme o para relajarme? Hmm. Sometimes I say para relajarme. Okay. And no, this is a relajarme. Voy a quedar en la casa a relajarme. No, I think. Para relajarte. Yes, para relajarme. Okay. Azalea uh -huh. es para o a. Porque Azalea es de México, no de Nicaragua. Voy a quedarme So, when I say para relajarme, it's just I'm staying here just for no más para relajarme, like para relajarme. Like a specific. Su propósito, ¿sí? Yes. The purpose. Now, I, what, one thing I want to say is, is you know, it's hard in English or Spanish. It's hard to find <clears throat> everything perfect with every oh, yeah. native speaker in English is not going to say everything perfect. Every Spanish speaker <clears throat> is not going to say everything perfect in Spanish. I don't, you know, I don't so, think there's a there's a perfect. I think it comes yes. to like what Anna's saying about a region. And what yeah. we were just discussing with Scott is like, there's very little that's actually, you know, just wrong, 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 right? It, when you hear these inconsistencies, there's a lot of, times it's just, it, just like we do in English, somebody in England or Australia or India, right? The English, it's still English, but it's different. It's just used a different mm -hmm. way. Yep. I, I was watching a I was watching a court case and the guy was talking about a woman doesn't have the right to steal it. And he said, no tiene derecho de robarlo. Now I say no tiene derecho a robarlo. Um, but poder robarle. De robarle. Also, yeah. So you you know good. All right, so. <clears throat> day. Mm -hmm. All right, so the time has flown. Uh, Sir, I'm... sorry, I have a quick question, Jim, sorry. Okay, sure, okay. Um, you know, Bryce, I have a question to you. Like here, here this word is relaharme, uh, right? Relaharme? Relaharme, yeah. Well, Sometimes we say like kasarme. Where and when and what like situation we use like these words, like, you know, reflexive. 
Can you repeat? What did you say? Are you saying, are you saying what, what cases do we use the reflexive verb? I mean, you get, like, look, my understanding of the language is pretty, pretty low right now. But so okay. what I have noticed, like many times we do like these kind of words. Let's let me say like when any word in English uh, end with, you know, double L Y, like essentially or how do you say that? Um, importantly or anything, you know, then so. Um, it would be mente is what you're trying yeah, mente, to say. Yeah, yeah. The way mente, like yeah, yeah. Mente and and there are word there there are there's a category of words, the engine like mente, and here I'm seeing like this uh this word and like, uh, So is there any particular category of word those engine like, uh, sarme like kasarme or rela You know, so the, those are called reflexive verbs. Okay. Um, so to, to relax is relajarse. So, mm -hmm. so you know, if you talk, yeah, that some verbs are, are reflexive. That's the reason why, you know, if I'm talking about myself, I say relajarme. If I'm talking about you, I say relajarte. If I'm talking about he, she, or they, I say relajarse. If I'm talking about us, I say relajarnos. So oh. it just, but it's, but it is relajarse. So we have to include the me, uh, may say, or may say, may say or nos. nos. May okay. say nos. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. And it's the it's the structure of the sentence also, Bryce. I think is what he's asking about. You know, in other structures, you could put the the um, may or the say before the um yes. before the verb. Yes, you could put you could put. See may what I'm saying? Have, he's, he's, he's confused because the, it's going at the end of the word. I think so. That's the way I took it anyway. You know, the reflexive part. Yes, yes. If you're, you can. Because it can also use... could be at the beginning of the, you know, before the um, <laughs> verb, right? Yes, before, before boy. boy. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. In a different structure, if the sentence was structured differently. May boy, mañana may boy. <laughs> Is that what you're talking about, Bob? Mañana may boy. No, like, like the re to relax, you know. Yeah. In a different structure of that sentence, you could put may rail rail. I don't know how to conjugate it. Oh, it, the may go. I relax. <clears throat> if you're gonna if you're gonna move it forward, it has to go all the way forward before the boy. Okay, right. Okay. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. So it's it's that's not, right. That's right. It, it doesn't move forward to before the relajar. It can. Oh. It can though. Can it? Couldn't it? I mean, if the you know in a different sentence. Is what um, I'm saying. Are you well, talking about like you say, I relax, like me relajo, you know. Me relajo, yeah. I relax myself. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yes, you can say. Got a note, got a note, or something like that. Yeah, got it. You can say in that sense, but yes, that that's right. Uh, that's, what maybe. That, that's what I think he was asking about. That was my take on it, anyway. So. Sorry. Yeah. No, that's fine. That's still, that still helps. That's still no, let's helps argue it to the bitter end. <laughs> no, that still helps, Bob, to, you know. Maybe, yeah. Brent, you can create a few um, examples next week and do, like, um, adverb versus reflexive. Relajadamente, me relajo o se relaja. Relajarme. So, because I think that's what Ken was um uh, asking like why some words end with mente and others only with me so here we're talking about the adverbs um and the reflexive it's uh it can be confusing but if we can have <laughs> sentences maybe it will be easier for all of us to understand this mm -hmm. see okay well, so <clears throat> Anna, Anna's going to share this document with the group. Uh, we will have the recording probably in the Facebook group tomorrow. Um, and we'll go from there. This time passes fast, doesn't it? Too fast. Yeah. Um, I missed class last week. Um, how long do you have the recording on Facebook? Uh, we don't how long? We, we don't, don't usually we don't usually take it down. It just oh, might okay. it just might move down the list a long ways, but okay. we don't we don't really 
move it down. Uh, How or do I access it in Facebook? What do I look for? <laughs> This is my uh, first. Yeah, you need to be part of the um, the iShare Lingo group. Um, Anna, do we have <clears throat> that group? Okay, right. Let's see. I have that on, on different stuff. Okay, thanks. Yeah, it's um, it's the private group. There you yeah. go. Anna, put it into the chat. Okay. So uh, you do have to, you know, ask for entry into the right. group, and then you can see everything. Okay. Cool. Muy bien. All right. Bye. Gracias a todos. I uh, hope we see you. I hope everybody is practicing together. Um, if you're not, then reach out to us and <clears throat> we'll try and help you with that. Okay. <laughs> todos, todos están practicando juntos. Buenas noches. Okay. Have a great mm -hmm. night. Have a great week. Thank Ready you. Tell, everybody. Gracias. Thank Bye -bye. you. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Bryce. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Paul, do you have any questions? Paul, yeah, I think. Uh, can I get one of those uh private uh I got a couple of questions for you if I can. Sure. Yeah. Whenever you get a chance, off record, without holding everyone up. So Okay. Yeah, sure. Oh. Yeah. We'll get you going. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, let's see. Que mas? Okay. I think we're done. All right. I'm going to close down this and we'll see you when we see you. All right. Gracias. Okay. Adios. 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 All right. Take care, everybody. Okay. Ciao.